Marine Gurukul Online Academy has launched a number of modules to help the students learn, understand, and pass their exams for certificate of competency. For our schedule and other details, please keep a watch on our YouTube channel where it's regularly updated. For any more details, please write to us on marinegurukul at gmail.com. Welcome to Marine Gurukul YouTube channel. We are pleased to present question number six in our video series on chart work, typical MMD exam questions. While steering 300 degrees true at 14 knots, a vessel observed Keldy Island light bearing 340 degrees true at 1200 hours. At 12.50 hours, Old Castle head bore 000 degrees true. And at 13.10 hours, Stack Pole head bore 000 degrees true into 6.7 miles. Find the position of the vessel at 1200 hours. Course made good and speed made good. Set and rate of current. Now in this question, we know the position at 1310 by bearing and distance, and we know the other two PLs. We can't use the running fix directly. Why? Because we do not have the four elements to complete the vector triangle. We only know the CTS and engine speed. First, let's identify these points on the chart. This is our Keldy Island light an old castle point and the stack pole point out here. We can draw the PLs. This is the PL for 1200 hours. This is the PL for 1250. And with bearing and distance for 1310, we can get the fix at 1310. Point X on the plot represents fix at 1310. Now this question can now from here on can be solved in two ways. So I'll discuss the first one here and then we'll discuss the second method. Now our endeavor in such questions is to get the CMG. Now one way to get CMG in a question like this is we can extend these two PLs that is 1200 hours PL and 1250 hours PL to make them intersect on the chart. You can see They've been extended since they seem to be closing in on this side. They've been extended by the broken lines and they meet at point Y. Now point and these two PLs intersect at point Y. To apply three point bearing method, the three PLs must intersect at one point. So now with point, point, through point Y, we can create another PL for 1310 passing through the fix 1310 fix. And you can see on the chart, we have created a PL for 1310. And that's the third PL we have created for the 1310 hours now. And they all are now 1200 PL, 1250 PL. And this created PL for 1310 all intersect at Y. And now three point bearing method can be deployed to obtain the course made good. So what do we do? The interval between first and the second PL is 50 minutes. Interval between second and third PL is 20 minutes. We mark off distance on this green line drawn through Y in the ratio of five is to two, five is to two. And the middle bearing that is the middle PL, 1250 PL is transferred through these points and it intersects the 1200 R PL here and 1310 PL there. We all know by three point bearing method, this gives us the CMG. Now we have the CMG and we have 1310 fix. This CMG can be transferred through X, the 1310 fix. And if the positions were required for both the other times, then this shall be 1250 fix and this will be 1200 hour fix. So we can see on this plot, Point P is the 1200R fix. To get the current, 
we can get the 12, 13, 10 hours DR. So from 30, 1200 hour fixed using the last fix as 1200 hours, we can get the DR at 1310 by applying CTS and engine distance for one hour, 10 minutes. That is 70 minutes. So we draw the CTS through the 1200 hour fix, mark it with single arrow, mark of distance corresponding to distance, engine distance for 70 minutes. And we get this point, which is the DR at 1310 point Z. And we all know from DR to fix, since we have a Z is the DR at 1310 and X is the fix at 1310. So this gives us the current for the duration of the vector triangle that is one hour, 10 minutes. So what are the answers now? Position at 1200 hours is point P here, whose latitude and longitude can be picked up from chart and put on the answer sheet. Course made good is the direction from P to X. This direction from P to X is the course made good. Speed made good. Now, distance P to X is the distance made good in one hour, 10 minutes, that is 70 minutes. We can find out how much will be the distance made good in one hour, and that shall be the speed in knots. So speed made good is distance Px divided by 70 multiplied by 60, and you'll get the speed made good in knots. Set of the current is the direction from Z to X is the set of the current. And the rate of the current, since the vector triangle is for 7, 0, 70 minutes, the drift Zx represents the drift in 1 hour 10 minutes. So rate of current will be distance Zx divided by 70 into 60. And this answers the question. So here, what have we done? We converted this question into a three-point bearing method, got the CMG, and got the answers. Now we shall have a look at the second method that could be deployed. Before we discuss the alternative method, let's have a look at the principle that shall be used. It is based on a simple geometry theorem that we have done in the schools, the theorem of proportionality, which states, if a line parallel to a side of, the tri of a triangle intersects the two sides, the remaining two sides in two distinct points, then the line divides the sides in the same proportion. What does it mean? That if we have this triangle ABC and we have a line, let us say, parallel to BC, this line EF is parallel to BC and it is cutting the other two sides AB and AC at two distinct points E and F respectively, then it divides the line AB and AC in the same proportion. That means AE upon EB will be equal to AF upon FC. And it is this theorem which shall be the base or will be used in the alternative method that we are now going to discuss. Now let's discuss the alternative method. Why the need to discuss an alternative method? Sometimes the two PLs that are give, you are trying to extend and make them intersect may intersect outside the chart. Otherwise also, if you wish, you can always use this method if you so desire. Question is already known to us. It's there on the screen. We can identify the three points as we had done in the previous method. We can draw the three, the two PLs and using the third PL and the distance, we can mark off the 13, 10 fix. So you can see on the chart, point W represents the fix at 13, 10 hours. If you see 13, 10 PL has been intentionally faded. Why? Because this method requires a fix and two PLs. Now fix may be given for the last observation like 1310 in this case and the two previous PLs 
or the it could have been reversed that means fix could have been given for 1200 hours and a pl could have been given for 1310 so the method would still be applicable what do we do in such a case through the given fix we'll draw the cts cutting the other two pls you can see cts has been drawn through 1310 and it intersects the two pls it intersects the middle pl 1250 pl at point x on the chart we'll measure the distance wx and that distance is found to be 4.9 miles now the interval between 1310 and 1250 pl is 20 minutes and 1250 and 1200 pl is 50 minutes so the ratio is 2 is to 5. using this ratio we find out distance corresponding to wx for 50 minutes and let us say from x we want to mark that point so distance xy is equal to wx divided by 2 multiplied by 5y because the interval is in the ratio of 2 is to 5 and the distance comes to 12.3 miles now we open our compass and from point x on the cts line we mark off point y which is at a distance of 12.3 miles now through point y we run back here we are running back in other case it could be running up also in this case we run back the middle pl so it will be always the middle pl which will be transferred so the middle pl the 1250 pl is run back through y and it is run back to now 1200 hours and where it intersects the 1200 pl at this point this is the fix at 1200 hours so p is the fix at 1200 hours we can join now 1200 hour fix with 13 and fix ew that shall give us the course made good and distance made good in one hour 10 minutes now here the theorem of proportionality has been used because in triangle wyp this segment py which is now becoming blue here is parallel to this segment out here so this small segment blue one is parallel to this side of the triangle and it divides the sides wy and wp in the same ratio and since wx is to xy were in the ratio of 2 is to 5 then the course made good line is also divided in the same ratio so this we have done to achieve or get a cmg which will be divided in the ratio of the interval between the pls now once we get the the cmg and these two fixes now we can get the dr at 1310 as discussed in the previous method z and then from z to w becomes our current now what are the answers here position at 1200 hours point p what is the course made good course made good is the direction p to w what is the speed made good it's p w is the distance made good in 70 minutes so p w by 70 into 60 what is the set of the current set of the current is z w and rate of the current z w represents drift in 70 minutes so z w upon 70 into 60 knots that is the rate of current so please remember this method could have been also used if the fix was given for 1200 hours and a pl was given for 1310 so same way this method could have been used in that case 1250 pl would have been run up to 1310 here since the fix was given for 1310 1250 pl has been run back to 1200 hours hope you remember this method this can be deployed when you have one fix and two pls hope you find this video useful if so 
please like subscribe the video share your comments thank you very much for watching marine gurukul video series all the very best